Hello one and all, my name is Ryan Bruce, my friends call me Fluff, and today we are going to be checking out the Hertz MIDI drum library from Hertz Drums. For those of us who have to make our music at home and often alone, what makes or breaks the bigness of a given song is often our drums. And so to that end, there are a lot of MIDI drum libraries out there to pick and choose from. All of them are so good, all of them have their strengths, but today we're going to be checking out a newcomer, Hertz Drums. Now before we go any further, Hertz Drums has asked me to show you guys this plugin so you can consider this a sponsored video. However, all thoughts and opinions are still mine. So Hertz Drums is a relative newcomer to the MIDI drum library and the way they do things and their layout of the plugin uh, has a few uh, particularly good features that I enjoy. And I like what they did and how they did it, as opposed to the traditional, you know, the, the tune track method of doing things, because I know a lot of us come from the world of tune track or get good or something like that, where there's like a mixing window and then like everything is super processed. Hertz drums, in my opinion, can sound however you want it to sound. If you want super raw drum tones, you can get those. If you want a little bit more processed drum tones, you can have those too. There's really something for everybody with Hertz drums. Now with Hertz drums, you can have three direct microphone selectors for each instrument or each shell or cymbal or kit piece, which I think is pretty cool. You also have articulation between the left and right hands, as well as the entire uh, MIDI groove player and sampler packed into one virtual workspace. And with each pack, you have 20 different instruments or kit pieces. So something you should know about the Hertz drums is they divide them between colors. Different kits are different colors. So they have the, the, uh, the blue, the white, and the red, and a metal kit, and things like that. So within the sampler, you can choose between the different packs, depending on which ones you choose to buy, purchase, and thusly own. We're gonna dive into this in just a second. This will all make sense in just a minute. But first, let's hear Hertz drums in the context of a mix. Okay, so that is Hertz drums in the context of a mixer. I also want to point out that the Hertz drums that you heard in the mix tune just now are using a stereo instance of Hertz drums. I'm not generally able to do that with a lot of drum software, meaning I am basically tweaking Hertz drums in the plugin itself and then exporting or kicking out just a stereo summed mix. I am not processing each drum kit piece separately like I normally would with say Get Good or Tune Track. okay? I think that speaks volumes for Hertz. Uh, I was able to get the snare to cut, I was able to get the kick to cut, I was able to get everything sounding and imaging how I wanted it with just using a simple stereo instance of Hertz drums. So this is Hertz drums, I am in Logic Pro X, and this is the isolated drum kit that I came up with and kind of pieced together for the mix song that you just heard.
All right, so what are the individual uh, parts of Hertz, drum, Hertz drums? So up here on the left is where the business happens. We have a mixer view button. We have a library slash, slash sampler button. And then we have the grooves, okay? Those are the three main parts of Hertz drums. So within the mixer, that is self-explanatory. Now down here, obviously there is the mixer. We have outputs one through 10, 11 through 20, which again are already labeled for me. Crash one, two, three, splash one, two, et cetera, et cetera. And then we have the groupings. Now these are already like this in Hertz drums for the various kits. Okay, now you can change these however you want. However, I just left mine and I just tweaked volumes as needed. So I have my kick bus, snare bus groups, toms, hi-hat, ride, cymbals, miscellaneous. And then over here on the right, we have the overhead, room, and reverb buses. And we can adjust these however we wish to adjust the amount of room and reverb that we hear in our stereo instance of Hertz drums. Okay? So, normally, in Get Good or Tune Track, there's a little drop-down menu here in the drum, right? So if I click on the snare, for example, it will bring up the various properties of the snare. If I, if I click on the kick, you will then see this uh, refresh to show me the parameters of the kick. Now there are three different microphones per instance of, you know, for every kit piece. So for example, now I'm gonna click on mic B, mic A. So there's, there's subtle little differences. Let's try that with a kick. Mic C, mic A. You hear the differences in those? If you're not wearing headphones and you're just probably watching this on your phone, you probably don't hear the difference. However, the different microphones are sounding a little different and these will affect in subtle ways how they cut, for example, in a mix, all right? So if I wanna change, if I wanna change my snare, I'm gonna go over to the library sampler and I'm gonna, this is where my, this is the current sample of the snare. Now, I have the blue pack, the red pack, the white pack, and the metal unlimited packs. Those are all represented down here. These all represent the different samples for the snare. So right now, it starts out, the base sample is this brass snare, six and a half inch by 14 inch, but if I wanna change that, Um, let's go that. So I'm gonna, I like, I like this one, so I'm gonna load it. So now my snare is this sample. Let's hear this in the mix. I like the overall sound of this snare. Uh, if I wanna let it, make it fit within the context of a mix a little bit better, I'm gonna come over here to the pitch. I'm gonna pitch this up a little bit. Let's see how that sounds. That's a little bit better. Let's see if my microphones sound any better. That one sounds a little bit more snary. I like B for this. I'm gonna once again play this in the mix listening to the snare sample that I just changed. I like that, that sounds good. Yeah, so I'm gonna leave that. I'm not even gonna mess with the ambience. Um, however, if I wanna change the amount of effects, I can do that right here on the slider. My effects being the reverb, right? So let's mess with the reverb on the snare, for example.
okay? That's how Hertz Drums operates. You have everything all at once as opposed to kind of scrolling through or selecting. For example, in Tune Track, you have to go to the individual kit pack and then find the snare and it's like a kind of a menu system. This is more laid out as just a kind of a, a pad and you can just kind of just select which ones you want. The same goes for the cymbals, the same goes for the kick drums, the toms, etc. This is the same throughout the kit, okay? That's how you change your kit pieces. Next we have the grooves. This is self-explanatory. This is just the groove pack. Um, I don't know if I have any of these actually loaded. So these, this is the groove section. So if I was feeling creative and I wanted to find some grooves that I could then write to, this is where I would find them. But back to my mixer view. Actually, you know what? Let's change the kit. So this is the kit that I came up with. But for right now, let's go, I don't even know what this is gonna sound like. Metal Kit 07. Very reverby. But if I wanted to change that, I would simply come down here to my groups and I would change my reverb. I would turn down my reverb a little bit. That's all I'm doing. Let's see how this is gonna sound. So that is too, that is too pancakey because the, the kick is going too fast. The part is too fast for this kind of, of kick drum. Snap Kid 01, let's try that. Obviously, I would have to fine tune this to fit the context of the mix for this particular song. I'm just trying to show you some examples of the different kits that you can get within the different packs. Now I'm in the blue pack. Let's go power metal. No idea what this is gonna sound like. I like the kick drum. See, you can just pick different kits and kind of just suit your different mix situation and then fine tune from there. Now, down here at the bottom, we have master dynamics and master volume. This is the output of the entire plugin, but we also, this dynamic um, knob is gonna add some top end and the more we turn it down, the less top end there's gonna be. Let me show you. If I was wanting some more sparkle on the top end, like in the cymbals, I would crank this up a little bit. But generally speaking, for me, I'm leaving this at zero. Most of the time, all right? And really, I mean, that's, that's basically it. Uh, lastly, with the MIDI mapping, I like that Hertz Drums has other presets. So we can import MIDI that we're uh, already using with other drum kits, Addictive, Easy Drummer, Get Good, Groove Agent, The Logic Pro X Drummer, Steven Slate Drums, and Superior Drummer 3. MIDI mapping is all right here. You can just select it and go. This is my favorite feature. Not enough drum libraries recognize that there's other products out there. Kudos to Hertz for adding this because this is just a huge time, time saver for me. So I like this. Any rate, yeah. And there you go, Hertz Drums. Each pack varies depending on price, 60 to 80 bucks. They do go on sale. There's, you can also buy all of them at the same time for a lower price. Uh, I will link down below in the description for Hertz Drums. And uh, yeah, I like these drums. They sound good. And with the stereo instance that I don't have to bust out and process every kit piece, it sounds great. And it's, I don't know, just sounds huge with some big old guitar riffs. I will link down below. 
in the description if you'd like more information on everything Hertz Drums. And with that, you've been wonderful. I've been Fluff. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.